Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I thought I would start this week off with a nice, pretty, um, maybe like a little uh, folio or a little pocket pouch or something like that. Now I'm gathering all my bits and pieces. I've gone through all my um, stash um, and I have got these lovely bits that I was using. Some of these I was using in my last project. Um, I've got all these lovely colours so this is the sort of colour I would like to be and sort of coffee stained. Now I've picked up a bunch of this as well so this has got some um, cheesecloth, I have got all sorts of bits of ribbon and lace, um, another different um, cheesecloth which is a sort of like a tighter weave. Um, I've got a little bit of seam binding. Now I want to coffee stain that, so I'll do that in a minute and show you. I've got a bunch of lovely journal cards here, which I've just cut up, um, which I thought would look lovely um, on the journal or pocket pouch or whatever I decide to make. Um, not sure yet. I will see how it goes. I've got some papers which I've had some of the lovely um, music paper left over and these bits which I've had left over so I thought I would use those and I got a lovely bit of coffee stained card that I use. I normally get the big sheets and just coffee stain them in the garden. So what I thought I would show you here, I'm just going to coffee stain some of these, another little bit of card there. Let me pop these to the side. And I'm going to take those to the side and I'm going to take this piece of card so I don't want any more coffee on that. And what I've got, I've got a pot here, well it's a jug and I've got some coffee in it. So it's just a little bit of just um, powdered coffee, it's nothing really special, just some cheap coffee that I use to, to um, do my papers and stuff. Now I have added a little bit of bicarbonate soda. Now that just takes the acidity out of the coffee um, and it stops your papers and your um, fabrics and stuff rotting. Um, it makes them last a little bit longer. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to pop everything into here. Now each of these is going to sort of like take on a different colour because I have got some um, sort of like almost like synthetic -y lace. Um, I have got some cotton lace, so that will take a different colour on. This is some cotton. Um, this has got a little bit of sort of like stretch to it. These have got stretch to it. So all of these are going to take on a different colour. Now I'm just going to stick them all in. And now I'm going to get, I've got a little wooden pole here. And I'm going to pop that in. Now I'm going to let that sit for a little while. And then I'm going to take it out into the garden and lie it in that lovely sunshine that we have today. And it will dry in no time. So let's just pop that in there. Let that soak for half an hour. Can you see here yeah, that the, um, because the cheesecloth is nice and a nice cotton, it takes on a different colour. So it go, will go darker. So I'm going to leave that in there like that. Just poke it down. I've got another big one here. So I'm just going to top that up. I'm going to use the rest of this for some paper as well. So we're going to just sit that on my desk for a minute. And then what I'm going to do, I will be back. I will take some pictures or make do a little video in the garden of this blooming in the wind and the sunshine, just so you can see um, how I do it. And then I will be back and we will make something. We will make a stamp. I thought I would just show you how I just coffee stain this to start with. So won't be long and I will be back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have got my lovely tea stained fabric out there. So all the lace is doing really, really lovely. It's almost dry, it's so hot. Um, I've also found these lovely bits of um, ephemera as well which I'm going to dye was not the ephemera yet. I've got some envelopes and I have some little circles and some little ovals and some beautiful index cards so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this pan which I normally use to do my coffee staining with the paper I'm going to add the rest of the coffee pop it all in like this and then I'm just going to take all of these and just pop them in so so simple that I don't need oh there's a little bit of paper 
that's very thin that can go on there these I'm just gonna pop in like this I think these would look really nice I've not sort of like done any oval so we can actually make some lovely oval tags or oval circles something or others can't we and then I'm just gonna pop these in like this I'm trying not to get in the way of the shadow got my hat on because it's roasty toasty so I'm not going to be out here for too long so let's just do those for now and then I will pop those to the side move this out of the way and then all I'm going to do is just pop them on the ground onto the grass like this shake some of that coffee off and then they are going to look great aren't they so we can use these in our journals whether i'm going to use them in what i'm making now i'm not sure but um it's a good thing to have in your stash isn't it so there we go guys that was just a quickie um this is drying lovely it's all looking beautiful look how shiny that is lovely color so once that's dry i will go upstairs and i will show you what it all looks like all right guys see you in a minute okay so back in from the garden and look at all this lovely coffee stained um fabric and paper love it or card so this is come out very very dark now i used a different coffee um, and I think it's come out a lot lot darker so obviously I don't need as much so I'm just going to roll this up this is just a little bit of cheesecloth um, this is the tighter weave and if you roll it up it goes really soft and look at that lovely but it's almost got a, like a sort of like greeny brown to it so it's very very dark so yes different different coffees you can see do a different colour don't they but I am still loving it and I think it will look lovely with our lovely um, pinks here. So really happy with that. I will get that sorted out in a minute. And these are all the lovely bits of a card. Look at all these. I have got loads. So this one's a bit squashed. But I am going to sort all of these out. Um, so I have a great big pile. So... It was very, very hot out there. I hope um, you saw it in the garden um, and the video went all right because obviously I haven't seen it yet. Um, but I was just showing you basically how I do it. And this took no time at all. Maybe half an hour in the garden and everything was dry. All crunchy and crispy. So these are just the plain bits of card. And these are the lovely index cards. Now I've got two different sizes here. Um, so I've got some small and I've got the bigger one. So I'm going to have such fun sorting all of this out and piling it up and adding to my stash. Now, I do believe on my Instagram, I did a whole load of... Oh, look, this has got like shiny on it. That's a different piece of card, I think. On my Instagram, I show you piles of paper that I did as well. Um, and I sort of like explain a little bit on how I use it and what I use it for so um, that's good look at that look at the color these have come out they're fabulous and I think they're a different texture of paper or card because this has got little sort of lines in it um, which is lovely and look at these envelopes aren't they just gorgeous loving them little tiny envelopes so gonna have to make something with those aren't we so I'm going to just quickly sort these out and pop them away I just wanted to show you um, what they all look like because they are so crunchy so if you're lucky enough to um, be able to dry yours out in the sunshine it gives a completely different look to doing it in the oven um, and I think it's great so there we go guys I'm going to sort all this out and then I will be back and then we will try and start off um, just doing the basic um, of our little I think I'll do a little um, little pouch I think today with some pockets so we will see so there we go guys I will be back two seconds okay so nice clean desk so this is the piece of um, coffee stain paper that I had or card so I've just 
cut off a section here um, not very straight but I know this edge is straight so what I'm going to do I'm going to look at the lovely mottled um, coffee splats on there fabulous so all I'm going to do I think is um, make a little pouch and add a few little flips and flaps I'm sure let's just bend that over it's a bit turned up so this is the straight edge so I'm thinking I might have it to about here and then like add some pockets and something to the back and then this can just be the top so again I'm just going to sort of um, work it out as I go along um, so let's just pop that there so let's have it to say there cut that down now let's straighten up this side like that down through there perfect so that is our little pouch let's pop this to there for a minute let's take this off I'll probably need a little bit of that in a minute but I've got a piece here for now so that's that and then we can sew these bits up and then we can pop something in there I fancied some big tags now I normally when I make these and I haven't made one for a long time I normally pop a little journal or something in it but I fancy making some nice big fat juicy tags um, on here and then because I don't want to cover up all of this and you can write on the back of this and I think that would look lovely so let's have a look let's just decide on here so which was the straight edge let's how how big should we have them we can have some nice big fat tags which I haven't done for a long time let's have one there we can always make some more but I thought I'd use this bit up to make some big fatties and then these can just slide in they're probably a little bit too big oh I don't know I don't know yeah maybe I'll cut them down just a fraction they don't have to both be the same size so I'm going to cut that down just cut that down like that these little bit might work as little fasteners or something that we sometimes do now I'm going to let's just what should we have like a nice sort of that sort of size so I'm just going to get these ready so then I got an idea of what we can put inside so that's that side and then all I need to do is put that on there and chop that off Okay, pop that that side and chop that off lovely pop those we won't need those little bits and nice two big fat tags and we can make other things to go in there as well um, but that can go in perfect so that's our inserts for those so shall we have a pocket now let's take this again I'm just going to just snip this off I just love this card like this you could probably actually I've just gone and got rid of all of those cards that I've just done let me just see I could probably use even use some of these as pockets couldn't I put that on there we could have a pocket we could have an index card like that it doesn't have to be level with it Put that underneath that can go on there and then you've got a pocket in there maybe I'll use those that's a good idea I've got a big box beside me with all the cards and bits in there so yes I think I might use those but I will cover them as well with a little bit of something or other so they can go on the front what should we have on the back? Should we have a flippy flappy thing? Should we have something that goes across here? Now I think I'll pop a little pocket in there as well. Now again I'm just making this up as I go along. Shall we have it the whole length? Shall I measure this? Shall I just measure this so you know what size it is? 
right so that's just over eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters and the height is just under seven and a half seven and a half centi um, inches and 19 um, centimeters so that's the height that's the width of it and I folded that up just about 13 and a half centimeters or five and a quarter inches so that's about that so again it's just sort of eyeballing it now that means I want to cut this because when I sew it I'd like to sew these on at the same time unless I do flappy bits on there that's what I might do so if I do flappy bits I just need to score down there so it bends and flaps open and then I can still sew down here can't I okay that's what I'll do I'm going to mark it let me get a pencil I'm going to mark it just over halfway there okay I'm going to cut that off put that through let's just get whoops I can work out how my cutter works so that's one side and then that gives us enough that probably is halfway isn't it? I'm going to do this one a little bit bigger because we need to I'm going to do that one to there like that oops there you go shall we do it shall I do it for four and a half so at least we are the same height that's four and a half and we shall cut to this one four and a half there we go Look, I think I need a new blade on there so then what I was thinking this goes this side this goes this side or the other way around and these can just flap open and then we can pop a little something here to close it up so shall I just score down here take my cutter I'm going to pop that there so we will have just at that one centimeter mark there I think and then I will get one of my little ball tools just score down there and do the same on this one just like that so this is we're working on the, the back so I'm going to just fold this over like that so that will stick on there like that and then this one will stick on there like that or that way and then they will just open up like that that looks good so then this will stick on there then we need a pocket in here should we have a pocket in there or should we have like a little flippy down paper thing we could have like a journaling spot decisions now I quite like it like that I think I'm going to just leave it like that for now shall I glue those on or shall I not no I don't think I will so that's going to be the back for now let's go back over to here I think I'm going to round the corners because they look a bit too pokey don't they I think rounding the corners just almost like finishes things off doesn't it so what I will do now let me get my ink just going to I will I'm going to ink along here but I think I might just cover that up with a little bit of lace anyway but it may not go to the top so let's just ink around it just gives it a nice base anyway doesn't it like that and I want it to look quite sort of like grungy anyway 
actually what I might do before I stick all these on I might actually embellish them first um, pop them on and embellish them and then because I might even want to sew on there so let's try and do something a little bit different shall we so you can use file folders for these things or you can use any packaging um, any card or anything like that you don't have to use these great big pieces of card just use what you've got um, so let's just put that on okay lovely so that's inked around nicely I do like the tags I quite like the tags this big fat tag idea maybe we could make it into sort of like a little tag journal couldn't we not a tag journal like a pocket a pocket to hold your tags in and I do have some lovely um, journal cards I'd like to pop on here as well just there we go all done perfect that's for now I'll pop those to the side because I've got I'm using these journal cards now I quite liked this one actually to go on the front so maybe we will have a change of mind because look at that I think that looks really nice on the front of there and if I use a bit of music paper with that on so that looks really nice doesn't it I do like that probably have actually you could probably still put these on that would have to go behind and that on top so you'd have a pocket there and a pocket there but you could still have this over the top couldn't you what do you think now I quite like it on here like that and maybe make I need another piece of card because I think I would probably make that another pocket on top or another pocket or a pocket but put this down first okay let's get another piece of card so this is just working out the basics of it to start with isn't it so what should we do should we put that on there let's just put that on there and then cut so we know what we're doing so now you can see I don't measure very often so that's a spare piece let's pop you over there this can go on here that would go on there or a piece of paper of some sort this would stick on there so we want it to be about there don't we let's chop that piece off bring this in and then I just want to straighten that top edge about right I'm gonna to have to get a new blade aren't I and then that can sit on there like that and I think I would probably sew that maybe pop a little bit of fabric or something around that that would sit on there and that would sit on there and then we can have that as a lovely little pocket love it so that's going to be the front so that can go on there Let's just pop that over to the side. Shall we make this little front pocket first? Or shall I decorate this? Now actually, that is a spare piece, isn't it? Those little cards I don't need anymore. This piece can go over there. Let me just organise myself. Those pieces, right, these pieces. Because I rounded the top, I'm going to round these off on the edges like that so that would sit one side and then we can just because these are for the back aren't they so that would sit there 
look nice rounded because these are sort of rounded it sort of like sets it off nicely doesn't it like this and then I will cover this up we should put something in there we could even put something on the back here like a little tuck spot or something can't we so what I will do I don't want too many flip flips and flaps and stuff on here um, but just a little bit so we can always add to it as we go along there's little bits of spongy bits on there doesn't really matter we can have it this way round can't we doesn't really matter then we have a little clip there and then these will just open up and then we need to put something inside so shall we let's get the piece of this don't know really where it's way round it goes doesn't really matter which piece but I'm quite liking these end bits now it's a shame to cover some of this up though, isn't it? Do you think? Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could put another pocket. We could have even a big pocket on this side as well. If you open it up. Ooh, decisions. I think this is the piece I wanted on the front. Now, I'm going to just cut this off and stick it on. I'm just going to do it. And we're going to have it to about there. So if we get a few things ready, and then the next time I can pop it all together. So we've got a, um, an idea. I don't want to do it because I know lots of you do follow along with me. So I'm hoping that I haven't confused you too much. So a couple of tags. Shall I measure these tags for you? This one is just under four and a half inches or 11 centimetres by just over six and a half inches, just under six and a half inches by 16 and a quarter centimetres. So that's quite a nice big fat tag, isn't it? And this is just slightly smaller, four and a quarter inches by just under 11 centimetres by six and a quarter by 15 and a half centimeters so roughly just one's just slightly bigger than the other one but i'm loving them so two tags this is folded over so we've got our little basic bit we've got two flappy pockets for the back and then i'm going to stick this and then we've got our little pocket for the front as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop the pocket on let's just start let's put the pocket on um and then we can what i'll do is i'll cut out some papers ready for our next video so we'll try and get this done in just two videos shall we so we'll do this one it's just ink around there then I'm going to ink around this bit like this just so we've got a nice inky edge what are we doing for time oh we are good for time should we ink around here just so you can see where I've cut it because I've coloured it um, cut it it's printed on white copy paper I think it's probably 120 GSM you get like a little white line around the edge so to finish it off it's just nice to ink it just so you don't see that white edge so I'm going to I'm going to actually going to stick this down first I'm going to stick it a little bit and then I'm going to go around it and sew it because you're not going to see it okay so where's my glue stick Oh, it's a hot one today it was very very hot in the garden earlier so let's pop this I need to go and get a nice big cold glass of iced water I think so there we go let's just pop that on don't need to stick around to the edges because I'm going to sew it let's stick that like that 
and then what we can have along the top we can pick some of our lovely yumminess that we did in the garden oh, if I can find some yeah let's just pop this look at that and then that can just sit on the top over there and then we have our lovely pocket here which can sit on there like that oops lovely maybe I'll pop a little bit of cheesecloth or something under here Go on this lighter one here as well right that's stuck on there so we will go around that in a minute let's do this pocket I quite like it that the card is sort of like wrinkly and wrinkly um, I think it looks quite nice doesn't it like that should we pop a little bit of something underneath let's just cut let's just cut a few pieces off here I like the sort of frayed edge bits like this and what we can do is just I'm going to just glue stick it down so it doesn't have to be stuck down too much because of sewing I'm going to sew it just like that and then I'm going to pop this piece this side I'm just going to all scrunch down which way should we have it sort of like hangs there and then this piece will go on the top should we put anything else on there I think that should be enough like that we can always add bits to the outside of here can't we so let's just stick this down a little bit of glue if you're using glue stick and you're going to sew glue in the middle don't glue around the outside just glue in the middle where you can stick it down um, then it won't go stick your needle or you know get all glue all over your needle but if I was going to use my sewing machine for doing um, making clothes or anything like that I wouldn't use the same needle as I use for um, sewing paper um, I would get a fresh needle but I don't really sew clothes so I don't have that problem I'm not really a seamstress like that so let's just tuck these little bits under a little bit more that's it just so it's a little bit safer so there we go guys that's going to be the front pocket and that will go on there like that love it doesn't that look nice so what I will do I will sew around this edge bit and I'm going to sew all the way around here before we actually sew this together we'll put some papers on there next time as well I'll have a little bit of a better idea now I've got a basic of what I'm doing I'll work it out a little bit better and cut out some papers and stuff um, so it will go a little bit quicker but that's going to go on there and I will sew around this so there we go guys that's the basics to our lovely um, little pouch um, so I've showed you how to do that I've showed you in my garden colouring my lovely fabric here and we will be using some of that so I will see you all next time so please do join me don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because it really really does help um, I'm popping a little heart or smiley face or something under the video if you don't want to comment also help so I would love if you could do that for me so there we go guys take care stay safe and I will see you soon all right bye bye mm -hmm.